Hey guys, it's Becca here. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the non-traditional angle and location. Couldn't find good lighting pretty much anywhere else in my house right now. I don't have like fancy lighting and stuff. But today is going to be the June edition to the Control the Clutter series. Just want to give you guys an update on how my collection is either growing or shrinking. If you want to see what's going on, let's keep on watching. So I pretty much started this video series because my collection was getting out of hand and it had been getting out of hand for a while. I started doing empties and haul videos to help me keep track of how much was coming into and leaving my collection, but it wasn't really making that much of a difference in the actual size of my collection. So now I am doing kind of a net change each month, seeing where I'm at. In the beginning, it was a lot easier to do this because I had a lot of stuff that I went ahead and just decluttered right off and now it's getting a little bit more difficult because now most of the easy stuff is gone and I'm having to actually use things up. So here we go, let's just see what happened last month. I have my notes in front of me so I'll be looking down a little bit and I'm gonna start off with my things that are coming into the collection. I have 39 items came into my collection this month from subscription boxes. I had the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate, the Ipsy Glam Bag, and the Boxy Charm, just the regular box. I have discontinued the Boxy Lux, and I think it's the Boxy Charm Premium. As far as the actual number of items, last month I made a change in how I was going to count them. Before, each product was going to just be one item, whether it was an eyeshadow palette or an eyeshadow single, but now each pan in an item counts as a separate item, just so that I can have a more accurate and, I don't know, truthful count of what's going on with my collection. So there were a couple of eyeshadow palettes and trios and things like that that came into my subscription boxes. As far as items that I purchased, I had 93 items and several of those were sub eyeshadow palettes. So the total number of items coming into my collection is 132, but that's counting each individual pan. If I pared it down and just counted about each palette or whatever it turned into 93 which wasn't that different from previous months which was usually in the 80s or 70s so it's a little bit more than usual but not that much then I'm going to go ahead and talk about how much left my collection and I feel like I'm pretty good with this time I had 18 items that I emptied from subscription boxes I had 35 items that I finished off from my own purchases I had seven items that I finished from my project pan, so woohoo, good progress there. I had did a brush declutter again, because that was getting a little bit out of hand. I got 28 brushes out of my collection. I have 22 pieces of makeup that were decluttered. I think one was a palette, so that counted as a bunch of items. Then there was a nail polish declutter that I did this month, or I guess it was in June, now we're in July. I did a nail polish declutter for the first time, I think ever, and that took 15 items out of my collection. And then I had a few items that I went ahead and just said, you know, I'm not using these. I've never used these. I'm going to go ahead and pass them along. So they are going into a box that I'm going to be giving all the things away. So I do have 149 items leaving my collection. So my net change is negative 17 so my collection is 17 items smaller than it was last month so i'm continuing to shrink my collection which makes me really happy my net running total is going to be let me take a look negative 287 so i have 287 less pieces pans brushes whatever than whenever i started this entire thing so i'm feeling like i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing with this series and i hope to continue to make good progress Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!